I'm on a work that's uh, truly in the end in there, I believe, using what's known as a laser grid. Laser grid uh, creates a laser field on the wall so that you can see subtle movements in the room if it happens. Kind of looks like a dance club. <laughs> We'll be putting music on later. Yeah. Music? What? Yeah. All over the dance spot. Yeah. yeah. Will you be serving cocktails? Oh, of course. Awesome. I will be here. <laughs> Serve delicious cocktails and I will show up. I want it. guys just to make sure everybody can get into the room. Uh, this area lit up is the only hole in the room. There are some uneven stones to watch out for. Come on in. You guys coming in now just move to your right. Get everybody in here. Groups of 40 people in here before. Think uh, clown car. Okay, so uh, is everybody? Yep. Yeah. So you're now standing in what's known as the basement vault. This is probably the most energetic room of the building. Unfortunately, the energy is prominently negative. We've had people come in here who are sensitive or psychic, and even before they know the stories, they'll have tears streaming down their face and they don't know why. And the main reason is you are surrounded by negative energy. You are also surrounded by dead bodies. Underneath your feet, it is believed there are 15 men in what is an unofficial graveyard who were buried alive. As well, the Dark Lady is believed to be in one of these walls, too. So we have 16 bodies that surround you. Now, one of the things I like to feature on this tour as well is the legend of the Dark Lady herself. Yes, she said no to the poem, but I specifically asked her during that Ouija session, can we still tell your legend? And she said yes, because she believes it honors her. So what we have here is a legend about a young girl living in England, in a small village. It's the mid-1800s. A young girl living a happy and innocent life until 
Her innocence is taken away when she is attacked, raped, and left with child by a man who is high up in her village. A man who can make things disappear. So her parents, now worried about her life, her safety, will send her on the first boat heading over to the New World. Just happens to be going to the newly built town of Hamilton. And as they wave goodbye to her, as she sails off into the abyss, the young girl will look at the beautiful ocean scenery that surrounds her for a couple days. And after that, it gets redundant. So now she's bored. Her gaze will then turn towards the captain of the ship. She will fall in love with this man, which wasn't a difficult task. Here's a guy risking his life to build the new world. Prominent men in society. It wasn't difficult for her to see him as a future husband, for a future father, for the child not yet showing inside of her. And in return, the captain saw her as a plaything. Something to pass the days, the scenery he had seen mo so many times before. And as the affair continues every single night, eventually he will see the lights of the town of Hamilton in the distance, and that will remind him about something he had previously forgotten, his wife and children. So he has to put an end to the affair. Because if this young girl tells anybody anything, it could ruin his life. He could lose his job. He could lose his marriage and his children. He had to shut her up. So he brings her up to the deck of the ship and says to her, I never loved you. You meant nothing to me. I don't ever want to see you again. And the young girl, thinking that this was fate, staring up into his eyes, all she could say back was, you will learn to love me. No, no, we're supposed to be together forever. And saying this over and over until finally he sends her away in disgust. And at this point, he knows exactly what he has to do. Calling the girl up to the deck of the ship on the last night before they dock in the town of Hamilton. And what a perfect night it is with the clear sky and the stars reflecting off of a calm lake. He stands her right in front of him and says to her everything she ever wanted to hear. I do love you. You know what? I just needed some time to think about it. Don't worry. We're going to be together forever. And it's everything she ever wanted. And so focused on his eyes was she. She had no idea that his hands were slowly moving up her arms and wrapping around her tiny neck. And he would squeeze the life out of that young girl, letting her fall to the deck of the ship. And at this point, proving the captain of a ship is a man who can make things disappear. Calling up a couple of deckhands, they will wrap her body in fabric, and then in the dead of night, walking her into the newly built custom house, down into the basement vault, they will place her in one of these walls. That is why she is here. That is why she is so active. That is also why she's so angry. You guys can head out into the hallway there. I'll take you back upstairs. Biking like crazy. Yeah, I saw that. So is this? Not now. It was. Son of a bitch. He must have unlocked it. He's, I bet you he's got the keys. All right, come on in. That was locked. Come on in. Hi, David. Hi, little sweet David. I thought this door was locked. I'm glad to find out that it's not. Talk to you, Shannon, 
I brought the little bear. Remember you said you liked the bear. Bang into stuff. And I didn't forget. Okay. Oh my god. Well, that was me. Look, that's me again. I feel completely lost. I feel like I'm stumbling and, oh, I don't like this feeling. I did not forget you, David. I brought you another chocolate. Wow. Keep doing that for me, honey. Don't stop. And yours will get it better. Probably did not David, you're here with me, aren't you, sweetheart? Thank you, sweetheart. Do you like the chocolate? I think he does. I touched it again when you said, Will you take my hand, David? Take my hand. Come on, David. Set it off. Set it off some more. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't want to. Take the chocolate, David. Take the little chocolate. What the? What? It went off? Yeah. Whoa. No, the light is still on. But it, this Wow. One. David, you're having some fun tonight, aren't you, little David? This you green light. You heard my message, didn't you, David? It's still on. Give me another sign, David. Show me your mirror. Knock on the window or knock on the stairs or something for me, sweetheart. Come on in. I'm for my break. Oh, um, I think. Oh, no. some uh, strange things going on tonight. His flashlight went on by itself. His camera just did the weirdest thing. Like it just turned off by itself. But the little red light that's supposed to be on, told you it's on, was still on. When we were in the vault, between wow. groups, yeah. I was standing there and I had this white, just right here hover towards my face. Like a white mist, like a white, whatever you want to call it. We had in this room last time, somebody saw an orb flying by. I believe it. Uh, my camera, my one camera wouldn't work. That happens on auto here. My I camera goes crazy here. I had to take the battery. It was a dashboard cam. Oh. Filmed to infrared, and I had to take the battery out. And wow. 